At six foot four and 190 pounds, Ryan Brain knows how to use his size and reach to his advantage. The 1992 birth year Ford from Orillia, Ontario, recorded 14 goals and 18 assists, totaling 32 points in 42 regular season games with the North Bay Trappers of the Northern Ontario Junior A Hockey League in 2011-2012. I think if there was a player I know I could kind of relate myself to, I'd probably say like a Rick Nash type of player, just with the size, uh, you know, size with the reach and everything. I think, you know, uh, I use my body for like, you know, protecting the puck. Oh, well, you know, most people, you want to, you always want to drive the net, you know, going, uh, you know, through the seams, but if you can use your size, you know, going wide and then cut in after, then it, uh, it opens up so much space for you. So. No question. There's a lot of upside to Brian, uh, uh, to, excuse me, to Brainer. Um, um, uh, he, he definitely is very deceiving because of his size. I mean, like he's long and lanky, so therefore um, he has a tremendous reach. He can shoot the puck like no other. His vision for the game is pretty good uh, in the sense that, uh, you know, he gets himself involved. And, I, and I've seen his involvement in this game change in the last few months in the sense of his responsibilities and his accountability, and it's not just a one-way hockey player anymore. Brain has found his way on the top line with the Trappers after starting the 2011 campaign with the Kirkland Lake Blue Devils before a trade to the Trappers in November. Brain missed a part of the Junior Trappers' impressive playoff drive with an injury, but bounced back in their Eastern Conference final series with three huge goals in elimination game. Uh, he certainly has struggled a little bit with the odd ailing injury. It hasn't been anything definite that's kept him out months, but it's been a week here, 10 days there, and little small things. But he has his adversity to be able to battle back, and uh, instantly when he came back in the playoffs, uh, he gave us a big shot in the arm, scoring two goals one game, and a goal to backing up the next game with another goal to help us win the series against Sudbury. So um, he has been a valuable player offensively for us, and as we've worked on his game, his complete game, I, I believe uh, that you can certainly see the difference on his involvement on both ends of the rink. Well, it's part of the game, you know, uh, everybody, uh, you, you don't want to get hurt, you don't want to miss any games for any reason, uh, let alone an injury, but, uh, you know, I was lucky to get back in the lineup, you know, after a week or so, and uh, as soon as I got back, I just, I found my stride right away and uh, was be able to contribute with, uh, you know, getting a couple goals quick and uh, right back at it, so. Brain also prides himself on his skating ability. Yeah, you know, a lot of people, you know, you think, you see the, the short guy and you think, wow, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's quick and then you don't, you see the taller guy skating and you don't think he's as fast. But when you're, uh, you know, you're, when you're in the game, you know, the, uh, us tall guys, we can keep up with them as, uh, just as much. So it's, uh, it is deceiving for sure. After his junior eligibility is complete, Brain is hoping to play hockey at the collegiate level. Oh, it's huge. You know, growing up, everybody, you know, you want to go as far as you can in hockey, but you need something to fall back on, right? So, you know, if you can play hockey, you know, play out your junior career, then, you know, get on with schooling. That way, you know, you're doing both at once, and it's, uh, it's a huge factor, so. Yeah, well, um, I think uh, the Brainer, he can he can help any hockey team that he plays for. He obviously has an offensive prowess to him. Uh, he certainly is a great kid in the dressing room off the ice. He's been very uh, helpful and, and effective with everything that we've done off the ice and within the community. I don't think he's missed one school visit or other uh, opportunities we've had to be involved in the community. Uh, he, he certainly uh, fits in with the guys on the, in the dressing room. There's never ever any, any have been ever any complaints or any worries or concerns uh, for the most part in our dressing room all year. But uh, the Rainer has come in and uh, fit in terrifically in that sense. And I know that I don't see any doubt that he will continue that no matter where he carries on. And uh, I, you know, he's the type of guy that can change a game. He can change a game at any time, and uh, he's um, he works hard at his game. He really does. If you think Ryan Brain can help your hockey team, please take down the contact information on your screen. This has been a Dawstar Video Scouting presentation.